Indian meal moths can infest an entire pantry once they've been allowed in. Larvae will eat grains and other dry food and leave behind massive amounts of webbing, droppings, and casings. They can cause up to hundreds of dollars in damage. So in this video, we'll show you how to spot Indian meal moths, look for their activity, treat them, and prevent future infestations from breaking out. If you'd like to shop the professional products in this video and learn even more about Indian meal moth control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the links in the description below. You'll most likely encounter Indian meal moths as larvae or adults. It's easy to misidentify them, so pay attention to the details. Indian meal moth larvae are small worms that grow to be about half an inch in length. They have dark brown heads and their bodies are usually off-white, but are known to be brown, pink, or almost green, depending on their food source. As larvae, Indian meal moths eat the foods they've infested and leave behind webbing, fecal matter, cast skins, and the shells of their eggs. Pupa are around a quarter of an inch in length. As larvae grow and reach maturity, they'll have developed five pairs of prolegs. If an Indian meal moth larva is not pupating on its food source, it has the capability to travel large distances to find a pupation site. You can find pupa several shelves away from the initial infestation site, or you could even find them among clothes in your closet. Due to this, people who have found pupa may mistake these moths for other pests. Adults grow to be about half an inch in length, with a wingspan of up to three quarters of an inch. Since Indian meal moths can pupate away from food sources, you might mistake the Indian meal moth for a clothes moth, but pay attention to the wing pattern. Indian meal moth wings go from light brown to dark brown, with a black stripe in the middle. Clothes moths are consistently gray. Examine all food products, including pet food. Check anywhere you store food, Pantry, shelves, cabinets, even your garage. Look along the edges of your shelves as you're moving items. Look for any larva, pupa, or adult moths. Any dry foods like grains, cereals, flour, corn, or rice are candidates for moths or other pantry pests. Food that's sealed in cans are safe, so set those aside. In order to start treatment, you'll need to clean out your pantry first. By targeting food sources, you take care of a huge reason why pantry pests are there in the first place. Start by throwing out all dry food. That sounds excessive, but if you've found one infested package, odds are there are others. After you've done that, continue clearing out the rest of your pantry. With the pantry cleared out, take a vacuum and clean the shelves. If the shelves are adjustable, use a toothpick to clear out the peg holes. Those are known to hide moth eggs and other pests. After you've picked up, clean the shelves with mild soap and water. Now that you have a clean pantry, you can begin your chemical treatment. Before applying treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, especially before handling any chemicals. And remember, do not allow people or pets near your treatment sites until all chemicals have dried. Start your treatment with Pyrid. Pyrid is an insecticide aerosol that delivers a quick knockdown, and it's labeled for a wide variety of flying and crawling pests. Use this as a crack and crevice treatment to kill any bugs or eggs that are hiding or have fallen in hard to see spots. Using Pyrid is easy. Just remove the white applicator, attach the provided red applicator, and make sure the straw is firmly affixed in the spout. Shake the can and spray along the lengths of any cracks and crevices. Next, apply Novacide. Novacide is another insecticide aerosol, but this one contains an insect growth regulator, or IGR. This will disrupt the moth's life cycle and prevent eggs, larvae, and pupa from developing into adults. Additionally, Novacide has a long-lasting residual and will work for up to seven months. Apply Novacide as a spot treatment along the edges of your shelves. Just shake the can, hold it upside down, and spray one to two inches of product every couple of inches. Finally, round out your treatment with allure traps. These glue traps come with a moth-attracting pheromone. Moths will fly towards the trap, get stuck, and eventually die. Setting up the trap is easy. First, grasp the top and bottom tabs and pull the trap open. Then, fold the perforated lines on the bottom of the trap inward, creating a housing. After peeling the seal off the included pheromone packet, stick the packet to the top of the trap. Be careful not to touch the circular pheromone membrane. Finally, hang the trap in your pantry with a string or paper clip. You can start prevention by purchasing only one or two weeks of food at the grocery store so you don't overstock your pantry shelves. The longer something sits there, the more likely a potential infestation could break out. Store food in plastic containers. The airtight seals on plastic containers ensure that bugs won't crawl inside. 
If an infestation does occur in the future, sealed containers allow you to isolate a future breakout. Finally, you can set up allure traps every three months to use as a monitoring system. Set traps where you store food and keep an eye out for any moths. This will let you know if you have pests early, and you'll save plenty of time and energy dealing with the situation. Indian meal moths are destructive pantry pests that cost us hundreds in food damage, but you can control them yourself with these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn. We guarantee these products will help you get control of your Indian meal moth problem, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.